My name is Ace Hood. I am a platinum recording artist. I am also a health and wellness guru. I'm a creative and I'm also a father. In another life, I might have been like a doctor or something like that. You know what I mean? Because I always think of like these holistic ways or just, or just come up with ideas. Just basically live a better, healthier life. I think just studying, mainly. Just always remaining a student, even when it comes to fitness. You know, fitness is something that I've always been a part of, always loved. I got into fitness seriously maybe about five years ago. Five years ago is when I started to really take it serious. I had a trainer for about two years. So it, it's kind of like my transition into independence, in a sense. That's when my whole fitness journey, like I think, like, really eclipsed everything. Forever, I was always outside. Football was always my thing, being from Florida. Like, it's kind of like expected for the most part, you know? So, yeah, I was always an outside baby. I started to play Pop Warner. So I maybe was about 13, 14 years old when I first started to play football. Maybe even a little younger than that. But that was like my first experience with uh, pad football, you know, and tackle football. The moment I, I got on the field, I fell in love with it. You know, prior to the game of football, like, and me actually playing it, like, I always was just a huge fan of it, of people like Deion Sanders and Emmitt Smith and, like, you know, legendary people who played before. So, for us, I feel like in my community growing up in Deerfield was always, like, one or the other. You know, you either, like, trying to do what the, what the dope boys are doing or you either trying to play ball or you trying to further yourself in college. You know, for us, football meant everything because, you know, if we were great enough at it, we were able to go to uh, colleges for full scholarships and stuff like that. So that was always the goal in order for us to make it out, outside of our community and do something better for our family. So, you know, it was very, like, family-oriented. Football was, like, much bigger for us, too. My diet is very important. I exercise as a pescatarian at this particular time. I do think at some point I want to transition to being like a vegetarian or something and vegan. Uh, so we'll see, we'll see. It's definitely a journey, but like I always felt like food carried energy, you know, like whether you would have, cause growing up my mom would always, you know, if she made soul food or anything like that, she would, every time we would eat, you know, we would feel like sluggish. As much as I love the food, as much as I'm, I'm from it, the culture and the collard greens and the neck bone and all that good stuff, at the same time, I understood that what it was doing to my body, I was making me more tired. You know what I mean? Eating big meals like that. So as I got older, I started to portion my food and started to understand that your body don't need much to actually run. I'm teaching my children about a healthy lifestyle, just about if they want longer life, if you want a happier life. For my kids, man, it's just, it's easing them in. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, holding them accountable too in the same token, which uh, is important to me. So like, okay, cool, y'all wanna do this, y'all wanna do that. I'm gonna need you when I put these greens on here, I'm gonna need y'all to take care of that. I need y'all to go ahead and clean that up, right? We got that, my girl and my junior, just so y'all know. And then, you know, it's all good. Dad, I ate all my greens. I'm like, yeah, that's gonna get you strong like that, and you dig? So, you know, and I know what the condition like between one and five, to try to get them on something consistent so they can carry that throughout life, you know? Cause I want them to be healthy. I want them to be active. I always wanted to be mobile with my kids and run around and do flips and do everything that they're doing, you know? So that's one of the reasons too, largely, that uh, I monitor my eating like that. Yeah. Being a performer in my lifestyle now, this is like so funny, man, because I used to think that they were different, right? So I think that they are one and the same. My fitness goals and the things that I want to do it's like because people always known Ace Hood in the past for, I've always dropped hustling music and music to get you up and going and music to motivate you. And you know, that's, that, that, that's what also stemmed from the fitness because in my mind, it's like, what if I can give you the keys to fitness and living a healthier lifestyle? And I can also attach the soundtrack to how to do that. You know what I mean? Teach you how to trust the process and teach you how to be undefeated. You know what I'm saying? Like meaning mentally, you know, mind, body, and spirit. The things that we control, like nobody else got that control. So that's what I mean by being undefeated. So it's like, also know that, you know, and it's not a perfect lifestyle that I live. Just so you know, like, I'm still in the club with nine chains on me, like, you know, like solid up, like dip it down and everything blessed. And we're gonna pull up in big forms and blessed, but it's just knowing how to balance that. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like knowing where my safe place is. It's like, yeah, it ain't really much change. It's just I'm back more like, yeah, like just that animal more so for me, more controlled. So that's how I learned to like balance the lifestyle. It's not fake it, you know what I mean? Embrace it. Like I'm thankful for who I am as an artist and as a celebrity and all that it's brought me. But I'm also grateful for my consciousness and like being able to be centered in a world where I know it's like so much terrible things happen and people need guidance and just love. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, for me, that's just how I stay true. It's just like, we waver back and forth. I, don't, I ain't trying to be perfect. 
You know what I mean? Like, I'm gonna leave and go, you know what I mean? Smoke one. We gonna, you know what I mean? It's like, it's no different. But I am who I am and I'm gonna be true to that.